hi everyone so finally i am creating this video and yeah you know it's very hard as we are from same field and it's very hard to manage time to organize everything to showcase this type of breakdown or video so i barely manage time to do that so i thought i should i should share my screen and show my face and explain that one to one phase so you can understand that better so that is why i'm creating this video and i'm going to explain everything so don't worry on that part so the main purpose in this video is to um showcase like how the modern SaaS landing pages work like what is the background architecture or everything uh people use or like the developer or designers use uh to achieve that in framer because if you understand that in framer you will be able to do that in any platform so let's jump into that part and uh, i'm going first i'm going to showcase few examples so you can understand that and based on that i'm going to break down each part so let me start with uh this one so here you can see this is a platform you can see this is a SaaS based platform so what is SaaS? So i hope you understand but if you don't i can explain that a little bit so SaaS landing pages is uh if i explain that in a very basic way it's kind of a showcase the software they have they showcase that on their home page you can say so that people can understand better what's the purpose of that application and everything that's what they does but it's really rich based like uh it, it should be modern so people can grab that easily because it's a business platform and everything matters here so this is a platform for crm platform it's a application they built for people so here they showcase everything like their software interfaces widgets and everything the purposes everything on their landing page so if i scroll down you can see this one is the tab version if i click on this one everything changing this one everything changing but those are really like more advanced it's not possible to create that in framer if you want to do that it's possible but it's time consuming if i can say but if you want to create that in framer it's, that's possible but that's very hard and time consuming so here i am with the solution that's i'm going to explain that later but first i'm going to show you showing you everything so you can see the whole process the quality of the widgets or interface or content is very high that's because they are using the sdk environment that means the whole process the quality of the images or the icons text everything it's actually uh, generating or you can say deploying in the server based platform so you can see everything as it is like the SVG file does in website so that is why it's really highest quality file it's we are not using any videos here it's not necessary because if we use video the file size will be gonna increased and the quality also uh, gonna decrease in that effective manner so i hope you understand like how people achieve that that types of animations or interactions on their Inter, uh, like tab buttons on everything based on that event like click event or mouse event or keyboard event or any scroll event any event you can achieve in such a way manner so i'm going to explain that so let me go down a bit you will see something happening here the animation if i go down there it's already triggered but it's not yeah you can see it's coming so this part there didn't uh, trigger that properly within their viewport that's why it's coming fast but that's a different topic but that thing i'm going to like i'm going to show you is like how they create in such a way so the animations and everything is coming very smooth and it's really highest quality things and more advanced you can say more professional you can say and if i go down a bit you can see something happening here as well this one uh yeah see it's it, it's it's happening in such a way so i can show you another one like this one the interface you can see how highest quality they are maintaining here they also build that in framer and if i scroll down it's even triggered that means you can trigger all the animations based on the tabs or the event you have so that's possible but 
if you want to do that in frame it's very hard or you have to uh, create loti files that's really hard to create because i hope you already know uh, creating loti files if it has any like uh, physical images and everything rather than svg files it's very hard to export that and the quality goes down a bit so yeah that's the reason we are going to use this type of uh, like strategy to keep the highest quality files and lower the file sizes and everything the, by the maintaining the hierarchy and everything so you can see here this one as well so yeah that's possible here so yes this part is completed so i'm going to use this one as a showcase like to ex as an example see something happening based on the hover event right if i go there you can also see something happening here but you can, th these types of things you can achieve that in framer but that's a different topic so yes see the animations and everything this one this one and if i go back this one see something happening the shimmer effect you can see our glowing effect animations and everything and if i scroll down see how smooth animations and everything if you want to do that in framer it's possible but it's really time consuming as i said earlier so framer is got in its own purposes i am not doubting anything but if you want to add more flexibility or advanced things you can use those steps to like to do any jobs very fast and easily and in a very professional way so that is why i'm going to explain everything today and if i go back this one see how the animations come and everything in a highest quality and there is no laggings at all this one as well i, I already know no know, know this platform so i'm not going to explain too much here so yes i have already covered these types of like uh like micro interactions and everything on my channel so you can take that look i have covered everything just uh, organizing here so you can understand that properly if you are new here that's the reason and i have already covered that this type of glowing effect if you want to create that's what i'm going to breaking down today and if i scroll down this one see how the animations coming and everything so the question here is how they actually maintain that hierarchy and everything so for that these are the platform the first one is loti lab second one is face these two are same like you can see it's, it's similar but there are some uh, everyone has its own purposes if you want to learn that you just need to spend 30 minutes there for each platform so you can understand that better properly and you can take decision which one you want to use because both support event triggering well you can also uh, control the events it has the one i have already uh, explained like this one uh, not this one should be this one so if i scroll up so how it's possible like how you can manage that event directly from that platform not from here it's possible but because if you want to do that in framer you have to cr create those events and everything manually and you just need to inject that but you can add those things directly from that platforms so that will be more easy and i like it will be done within few minutes if you want because i know you already have a decent um expertise in figma because we are going to use figma we all from the same platform so it's it's our origin so i believe you already know how to use figma and everything because from figma to framer or figma to another platform that's what we actually learned so far from our beginning so if i click here you can see this is our dashboard and suppose this is our uh, like sas models dashboard like this is our software that we are on to, uh, that we are planning to showcase on our landing page each details or interactions or each uh, event or each functionalities you can say so how you like how you can show that like the animation you have like this one it has so it i am using this one as an image but 
as you know it's possible to create all the components something like this so you can also grab that and i believe i have that here uh cover one no not this one i think i have already this one in my yeah this one see everything is changeable and everything we can create animations from those so i just need to click on it if i want to animate that from here to here uh, on my framer front end side to showcase how the tracking system works on this specific applications and everything suppose this is a feature of that application we want to display on our landing page about that application so i need to create that animation here so how can i do that if i want to use like this part from a lot of face because it's good for these types of interactions and animations so i just need to um, click on it and you can see i have already loti lab here and also if i click on plugins and widget i have face as well i just need to click on it and it will display this widget here i just need to log in and sign up and export that on that platform this platform so you just need to take some idea from their youtube channel so you can understand how you can animate those things but it's really easy you know uh, you can animate any types of uh, interactions or uh, like interfaces anything within few minutes you just need to grab and like apply those uh, keyframe and everything you i ho i hope you already know that how you, you can keyframe those animations and everything just take a look on their video on youtube channel and you will understand better and similar for the loti lab as well they also does the same so you can choose between one or you can also use both it's or it's up to you so i will highly recommend you to um practice that with minimum 30 minutes on each platform so you can take decision by yourself and uh, yeah so you just need to export that and all components or elements you can see our layers will be exported in a similar way the way it has at this moment on figma so you have full controls on animating any elements you have on that widget so that's how you can animate like similar like this or this or anything so i hope you understand these two parts so that unicorn one and the rive one so let me start with rive so r what rive does actually uh, i hope you already know what rive is so you can add advanced like interactions or anything uh, on your front end side it's also all platforms i have explained here are supported in framer because they actually use embedded system files as a sdk as far as i know so you can use all them in framer directly and uh, yeah if i go back on rife again you will see it's 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 another advanced level in uh, like platform you can use and utilize that on your website if you want to create more advanced interactions displaying landing pages and everything and the next one is unicorn studio it's so unicorn is still not for public users but you can join their waitlist and they will send you the login credentials and everything so you can log in there so it will take you three or four days but yeah you should you should take a look on that part because this website you can see everything has created using that platform as far as i know but definitely you can use you, you can create such animations and everything using that Hali platform and i also created mine as i, I was just testing that using that platform so yeah I hope you understand how you can create such things so this this type of uh, event controlled animations or interaction you can use rive or sorry you can use lotty lab or any face it's up to you but i hope you understand the whole process how the things actually working here and that's how you can create any types of interactions there so you can say like you have a questions like how i can integrate that in framer so you just need to add those in your layouts you have to create layers there and add those embedded system files um, so you can say how you can utilize those like all the widgets or everything 
on your website so suppose i want to integrate that here i just need to go back because all this platform has their export option that has you can say their embedded system exports uh, like options they have so you just need to copy those and come back to framer and use embedding and drag that and paste the embedded code here so it will be appear so it will appear properly on your interface so that's how easy it is so you can utilize those platform to create your SaaS page landing pages and everything and i hope you understand so if i have time i will explain that in depth by creating those but honestly saying at this moment it's not possible for me and i hope you understand it's very hard to organize everything in an effective manner and if you have any questions you can comment below or reach me on my twitter so yeah that's it for today and have a good time bye